On a very curious note, I'm an introvert by nature. I was very shy when I was uh, growing up. I like to keep to myself, you know. I'm a classic case, okay? So the first reason to have a YouTube channel is to promote your music. Now you can start a YouTube channel and you can actually put videos with your music on it and you can showcase your work. And I cannot tell you how powerful this is. I did this in the beginning. I actually grabbed some uh, stock images or stock videos that are online available for everybody to use. And you can actually put your music on it and edit it. And this has a, a tremendous uh, powerful effect on your music. You as a composer can, can see how your music uh, fits a certain image and a certain uh, frame of work or, or how you can showcase your uh, a particular work that you have done uh, with a visual uh, work that is not necessarily meant to work together but when you put them together it has a tremendous uh, promotional effect in my opinion and, and, and as a creator you can see how your music sounds when I started doing this in the beginning it, it just shocked me how my music sounded with some videos in the background you know and uh, even though my YouTube channel today is I don't use it for that purpose anymore I am doing more of a vlog and, and, and talking and, and teaching and communicating uh, it has a tremendous promotional effect and I have seen a lot of colleagues of mine who have uh, were just doing that they have an actual YouTube channel and they promote their music with videos and they just put the music in the name of the songs and you know and, and it's just a, a very powerful it could be almost like a portfolio uh, with videos you know and, and it's a powerful powerful tool for us composers uh, to to take advantage of that because at the end of the day it's free you know YouTube is a free a platform so you can just use it to just upload your music with a video and you can edit it as, as you want and uh, yeah man that's that's the first reason why you should have that because you will be promoting your own work with visuals okay now the second reason the of why you should have a YouTube channel if you're a stock music composer is that YouTube is, is really more than an actual uh, video platform, it's actually a search engine. And I believe it's the second biggest search engine after Google and YouTube is owned by Google anyways. So you will appear in, uh, in search engines, you will appear online, especially when you do the description and the tagging on your YouTube videos. Uh, for example, you can put uh, royalty-free music, you can put stock music, you can put all sorts of, uh, of tagging in your, in your video description or like some of my colleagues do, they will actually put the title of the song and uh, they will put royalty-free music. Or, or, or this kind of tactic so, so the, the, the customer or the person who's looking for this type of music uh, on YouTube, it will appear, okay? And it will appear not only by title, but in the descriptions. And you can go as far in the tags of the YouTube video to put that as well. And you will appear on searches for sure. Now the third thing, and this for me is something that I, I, I am completely blessed with this. The, the, the very third thing that you, the reason why you should have a YouTube channel is for networking, okay? And you will meet a lot of uh, either potential customers or clients, but you will meet as well uh, like-minded people like composers and people who are actually content creators for, uh, for stock, okay, for music. And uh, I, I cannot tell you how many people I have met through my YouTube channel, okay? Uh, fellow composers, creators, and whatnot. It's just, it's just, it's, I am, I'm overwhelmed as well with the amount of messages I get uh, privately as well. And uh, of people who are actually doing the same thing that I am doing, and uh, people who are starting off and they want a little bit of uh, help and encouragement and, and how to do these things. And I'm more than happy to help out and to actually uh, do a lot of networking and you know but you know you can start a YouTube channel for example like I, like I said in the beginning I started by putting uh, music into videos and putting them in my YouTube channel now and, and I had this idea of just doing a little bit of vlog here and there because us as a uh, as humans, we're very curious as well, you know, and I like, I consume uh, YouTube myself, you know, I follow a lot of people in different industries, so I said, like, you know, it would be nice to do something like that. I don't know if I'm capable of doing it, but I'm going to do it in my own way. Uh, you don't have to vlog or you don't have to talk in front of the camera. I, I, I believe that it's not for everybody. 
but you can do it in your own way. A lot of my colleagues, for example, they do a lot of uh, stock music and they have like a lot of tutorial, which is just like a screen record or a screen share. And they're actually teaching you how to make uh, either music for stock libraries and, and, and they don't even have to talk. They don't even speak. They just like the screen of their workflow and how they compose the music. And that's a fantastic idea to actually promote yourself as a composer and your music and your abilities and your, your skills. Uh, but it's a perfect example of how how a composer can use uh, this platform and like I said I have many colleagues who use it in different ways uh, you don't have to be in front of the camera maybe you want to teach somebody uh, 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 how to do this you can record maybe how you uh, make your own music you can uh, you know there's so many so many things the most important thing is that when you start doing YouTube videos when you start your channel you can have it as a private thing you know you can have your videos a private but then you can always release it you know and, and test it and see how 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 you get along you know and and the most important thing in my journey as a youtuber is that I actually uh, I have gotten uh, offers as well of work funny enough you know I might not get an actual customer saying to me directly hey I want to buy that song through my YouTube channel but I have networked so much and met so many people that people have found me through my YouTube channel and I have got offers to, to do uh, specific gigs and works and hey, we heard your music, uh, we, we would like you to, to, to do this here and there, you know, we would like to, to be part of, uh, of, of, of this library or whatnot. And that's, that's amazing, man. And I have met fellow composers as well who have uh, actually helped me. You know, I'm trying to help as well other people and people are helping me. So it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a snowball effect, you know. And uh, if you have something to share and if you have the ability to do it, you know, in your own skill, with in your own way, with your own skills and ability, you should do it. You know, it's a little bit scary. When I started off, I didn't know anything, and I don't think I still know everything that there is to know to do a YouTube video or what is the perfect YouTube video. But for me, it's very uh, therapeutical, really, because I work from home. So when I start doing YouTube videos and talking, I realized that it was a way as well for me to actually. Uh, let a lot of my my own thoughts inside out and hopefully help uh, people along the way and uh, on a note on a very curious note I'm an introvert by nature so this is a little bit weird as well for me to talk too much or talk a lot in front of a camera because uh, it is my nature of being a very introvert I was very shy when I was uh, growing up and you know not very comfortable in, in a big crowd so i like to keep to myself you know it, i'm a classic case okay so youtube has become uh this thing and doing videos and talking to you guys and uh and sharing as much as possible as well and informing and be a source or a platform to to actually communicate as well it, it, it is a godsend for me you know and the more videos I do the more I realize that this the possibilities are endless and actually give me your take what's your take on this as a music creator as a music composer how will you uh, use a platform like YouTube because video is very powerful it, it is it is really really powerful and for us that we create audio or, or sounds and, and music uh, our, our music comes alive when we actually do put it to, to the media, which is this thing, you know? It's a commercial, it's an ad, it's a video. And when we do that, we see how our music comes to life. So, and it's a great, it's a great, great tool, you know? Video is a killer. V video is, is so powerful, you know? I, I underestimated it for a long time. So anyways, man, again, thanks a lot for all the love and support. Leave in the comment sections, what's your take on uh, using YouTube uh, as a composer and how will you promote yourself and your brand and your music? And uh, give me your take on this, man. What, what, what are your thoughts on it? As always, man, rock and roll and see you on the other side of success.